There are three formulas that you should really know if you are working with pediatrics. These formulas will tell you what your patient's maintenance IV fluid rate is, what your patient's daily caloric needs are, and what your patient's adequate urine output amount should be for their weight. To calculate your patient's maintenance IV fluid rate, you will need to know their weight. And the formula is 100 milliliters per kilogram for the first 10 kilograms, 50 milliliters per kilogram for the second 10 kilograms, and for the rest of their weight, it will be 20 milliliters per kilogram. Here's a quick example I've worked through for a patient weighing 39.2 kilograms. This calculation can be really confusing, so if you'd like more information on how to use this formula, I've dedicated an entire video to that subject and I'll link that below. Calculating your patient's daily caloric requirements is dependent on their age. For a patient zero to five years old, the formula is 90 kilocalories, and remember that the layman's term for that is just calories. 90 kilocalories per kilogram per day. If your patient is between six and 18 years old, you will add 1000 to 100 kilocalories times their age in years. If you work this out with me, you'll see that a four-year-old weighing 18.5 kilograms will need 1,665 kilocalories per day. And if your patient is 13 years old, they will need 1,000 plus 1,300, which is 2,300 calories a day. The final formula you'll need to know is what an adequate urine output is for your patient's weight. We know that an adequate amount of urine out is 0.5 to 2 milliliters per kilogram per hour. The most accurate way to obtain this information is to look at your patient's total urine output over a 24 hour period. We'll work this problem through together, assuming that our patient is 21 kilograms and has voided 575 milliliters over a 24 hour period. When we plug in these numbers and make sure that our conversion factors are able to cancel out, we see that we have a urine output of 27.4 milliliters per kilogram per day. But as you can see, our range that we're given is in milliliters per kilogram per hour. So we'll need to divide through further to see what this volume is in milliliters per kilogram per hour to see if that number falls within the acceptable range. Remembering our rounding rules, we can see that this patient has made 1.1 milliliters per kilogram per hour of urine. This is acceptable because we know that our range is 0.5 to 2 milliliters per kilogram per hour. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to put any questions you have about this content or any other nursing content in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any further nursing content from me in the future.